66. Question number one, which of the following statement to choose the number of faces of triangular prism? Triangular prism has two triangles and three rectangles. Two triangles and three rectangles that choose that are C. And if you want to find the area of triangular prism, you must find the area of each face of them and then eat the results to find the surface area of triangular prism. Okay, then you must choose letter C about question number one. Question number two. Which of the following statement choose the number of faces of a square pyramid? We have square pyramid here in the base, one square. And we have lateral four triangles. Four triangles in the lateral, one here, two, and three, and four. Then we have four triangles and one square. Four triangle and two squares. Four triangles and two and one squares. Choose letter D. About question number two, choose letter D. Okay. Question number three, which of the following solution? Represent surface area of the opposite pyramid here. Okay, we have square in the piece and give us the length was six, then the area of the base was six, reduced by six. And we have four triangles, four triangles, they are congruent, and the area of each one of them we can write. Half product by base product by height. They give us the base of this triangle will be six centimeter because the base was square and all sides are equal in lengths in square. Then the base was six and corresponding height here was eight centimeter. He gave us the height was eight. Okay. And then we can write the area will be six. The total area will be six product by six plus four. We have four triangles. Four triangles. Okay, the area of each one write half product by base product by height. So we must choose what? Question number three, choose letter. P shows that our P is the total area of square pyramid. The area of square pyramid equal area of the base side by side, six by six, and we have four triangles. They are congruent. We can find the area of each one of them and then product by four one of them or uh, find the area of four triangles and eight uh, the result four times okay but we must write four it's easy for you four products the area of each one of them to get the result in one step okay next question we have here triangular prism okay we have triangular prism you want to find the surface area of triangular prism okay we must analyze this Prism. Okay, first step we have two triangles are congruent. We have two triangles are congruent. Two triangles right. And the base was six and the height eight centimeter. Then we can find the area of this triangle half product by six product by eight. Half product by six equal three. Three times eight equal twenty four square centimeter. It's area one. And exactly area of this triangle, it will be uh, such that this number, it will be 24 square centimeter because two triangles here are congruent. And we have three rectangles. First rectangle in the base, rectangle here in the base, okay, look at in the base. The dimensions here was six centimeter and this side will be nine okay look at with me again about the base about this rectangle 
we have rectangle in the base okay rectangle here dimension six centimeter and it was nine centimeters this side lens nine it's opposite nine centimeter up okay nine centimeter then this dimensions here will be nine because each opposite sides in rectangle are equal lenses then this side lens nine and this side lens nine nine then the area of this rectangle in the base will be six product by nine lens times width it's area number three area of rectangle in the base six times nine equal 54 square centimeter and what about it the rectangle here up the rectangle here is up we have two dimensions eight centimeter and nine centimeter okay we have eight and nine okay eight and nine the dimensions here eight and nine then area four lanes times winds right nine times eight equals 72 square centimeter and the last one this rectangle one we will look at this this rectangle here in the, in the face this rectangle the two dimensions was 10 centimeter and 9 centimeter okay can you see this rectangle we have rectangle up here two dimensions 10 and 9 10 and 9 then 10 product by 9 it's area number 4 5 because we have five faces we have five faces of this triangular base okay we have five faces how we have two triangles here in the base two triangles congruent and we have three rectangle first area of it was 54 six product by nine six here product by nine in the base the base here rectangle in the base lanes times width and area four nine times eight nine product by eight here was standing this rectangle is standing here nine product by eight okay this rectangle and the number five here rectangle dimensions ten product by nine equal ninety square centimeter and then we can find the total area right 24 plus 24 they are two triangles and 54 rectangle in the base and 72 here standing and plus 190 this rectangle in the top here and then we can find the total service area by exam 0 plus 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 4 equal 14, 4 and carry up 1, 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 7, 17, 17 plus 5, 22, 22 plus 2, 24, 24 plus 2, 26. So, the result will be 264 square centimeter question number four shows that are a shows that are a okay understood next question number five service area of the opposite square pyramid is what okay to find service area of square pyramid, first step you must find the area of the base. The area of the base here was 7 by 7 because the base here was square. Okay, we have a square in the base. And we have four triangles. One, two, three, four. Four triangles. We can find the area of each one of this triangle by right half product by the base product by the height. The base here of this triangle was 7 cm because the base was a square and all sides in square are equal lenses. Then we can write the area half product by the base product by height. 
then the area of each one of these triangles half product by 7 by 10 half of 10 equal 5 5 times 7 equals 35 square centimeter then the total area we can write the area of the base 49 plus 4 product by the area of each one of these triangles 4 times 35 because we have 4 triangles congruent then the total area we can write 49 plus 4 times 35 4 times 5 equal 20 they run the carry up 2 uh, 3 times 4 equal 12, 12 plus 2 equal 14, and then you can eat them, 0 plus 9 equal 9, 4 plus 4 equal 8, and the right one, the result will be 189 square centimeter. It's the total area. So you must choose letter B about question number 5. Question number 6. Service area of square permit in which perimeter of its base 36 and the height of each triangular face is 6 cm okay here in this example first step we can find the side lengths of the base the base was a square we know all sides are equal in length in the square then the side lengths will be parameter divided by 4 we have parameter 36 divided by 4 equal 9 cm then the side lengths here will be what will be 9 centimeter it's side lengths okay okay then we can find the area of the square in the base was 9 product by 9 again it's here versus to the side the side will be parameter be reversed to the parameter okay parameter divided by 4 because the square has four sides equal lenses and the parameter equal side by 4 then the side will be parameter divided by 4 equals 36 divided by 4 equals 9 centimeter. It's side length. Side length was 9 centimeter. And the area will be 81 square centimeter. It's the area of the square. And then we have four triangles are congruent. We can find the area of one of them and then product the result by 4 to get the area of four triangles. Okay? Okay, we have four here. One, two, three, and four. Four triangles. We can find the area of each one of them by right half product by base product by height. It's the rule of find to find the area of triangle half base times the height. Half of the base here was nine, and the corresponding height he gave in the example corresponding height was six centimeter. He gave us the height of each triangle face is six centimeter. Then the result will be what half product by nine by six half of six equal three three times seven eight, nine equal twenty seven square centimeter then the total area we can write the area of the base 81 about square and write four product by the area of each one of the faces okay right 81 the area of square and four times 27 because we have four faces congruent four triangles congruent and the area of each one of them 27 27 times 4 4 times 7 equal 28 Write it and carry up 2. 2 times 4 equal 8 plus 2 equal 10. Then you can eat them. 1 plus 8 equal 9. And write 8 and write 1. Then the result will be 189 square centimeter. Choose letter C about question number 6. Okay, understood? Now we will solve next question number 7. If the ratio between the area of equilateral triangle base and area of rectangular face in triangular prism is 2 and 3. And the area of triangular face is 12 cm. Square centimeter, the surface area of triangular prism, what? Okay. He give us the ratio between the area of equilateral triangle face and triangular prism and the area of one triangular face is 32 okay they give us the area again the equilateral triangle base of the area rectangular face and the area of rectangular face okay of triangular prism okay they give us the ratio between area of triangle the area of again the area of equilateral triangular base of uh, triangular breeze and uh, the area of rectangular face 
interregular basis because we have equilateral triangle in the base then all rectangle will be congruent okay and give us the ratio between them two to three and they tell us in the example the area of triangular face triangular the area of triangular prism here is it give us the area of triangular face is 12 square centimeter in surface area of triangular prism is what okay he give us the area of triangular face was 12 okay 12 here then the area of every one rectangle will be what will be 3 times 4 equal what again 2 times 6 equal 12 then 3 times 6 equal 18 18 is the area of one of face area of one face was 18 then he won't find the area of triangular prism now we can solve it okay we know the area of one triangle was 12 and the area of one rectangle will be 18 we know if the base was a quadrilateral triangle then we have three rectangles congruent okay three rectangles congruent in the area okay then you can find the total area we have two we have two triangles then the area will be two product by the area of each one of them the area of this triangle was 12 okay and we have three rectangles we have three rectangles the area of each one of them was 18 okay understood again again to find the area of triangular prism you must find the area of two triangles one and two and the area of three rectangles we know this triangle was a quadrilateral triangle this triangle was what a quadrilateral triangle then we have three rectangles congruent three rectangles congruent and the area of each one was 18. to find the total area we must find the area of two triangles and three rectangles two triangles and three rectangles okay two triangles and three rectangles how we found it he gave us the ratio between area of triangle and rectangle 2 and 3 and the area of this triangle was 12 2 product by 6 equal 12 then 3 product by 6 equal 18 then the area of one rectangle the area of a rectangle is 18 square centimeter and we have three rectangles and we have two triangles two triangles congruent and three rectangles congruent then the total area will be 2 product by 12 it will be 24 and 3 times 18 3 times 8 equal 24 right 4 and the carry up 2 1 times 3 equal 3 plus 2 equal 5 then the total area will be 4 plus 4 equal 8 and 5 plus 2 equal 7 the result will be 87 square centimeter 78 uh, the result will be 78 square centimeter it shows letter C